What is going on guys? Welcome back to EU4 as Kiev and here we are with the global trade. Very very unfortunate because we still of course have not embraced the printing press. Now um, tacking up is so expensive. Look at this. Even though we are 35 years ahead or uh, behind or whatever like I don't know but we still have to pay a thousand points to get a technology. The base cost is 600, but because of a high corruption and the printing press not being embraced, we have to pay 100% extra. It's insane. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we're ever... Uh, this country was such... was so fucked up already when I got it. Um, it's really hard to turn it around. But anyways, global trade's not gonna make it any easier. I hope that it somewhat spawned in England, which it fucking did. That's good. Because this way, at least, it will quickly grow here. Uh, once England has embraced. So that's that's great. And we also obviously have some centers of trade where it's apparently growing. Okay, so global trade will spread relatively fast. So this is not as bad as the printing press. So once we have that, it's fine. Now, uh, something I wanted to show you is that um, Mongol separatists were successful here. And so these two provinces that we need are in Mongol hands. And Mongols are, you know, at war with Smolensk, for example. So I'm thinking to go to war with them and take Nizhny Novgorod because then once we have Nizhny Novgorod and get Tech 10 we can form Russia which is the whole goal of this campaign so um, that's what we'll do we'll need to go to war and if we're really really lucky we might even get some money out of the war with the Mongols um, that would be awesome and uh, and then yeah we'll see I mean if we form Russia it's uh, it's a success but the Russian nation will not be a powerful one. However, since we changed our uh, government, we actually have the Russian abilities already. So we can support up Prichnina. Uh, I'm going to do that once we hit 90 uh, with the rebels. In fact, Kiev has... Oh, okay. Yeah. We can also raise the Streltsy, which I might do. Uh, this will increase our stability cost. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm not using... Yeah, you know what? Fine. Six Streltsy, but we we can't really afford them any uh, at the moment. Actually, you know what? We can. Let's get rid of the mercenaries, and let's raise the Streltsy instead. That's cool. That should help our economy a little bit. Um, nope, it doesn't. The Streltsy are actually more expensive. Really? Okay, apparently so. Um... I didn't know they would cost more, but yeah, okay, cool. Really? Well, I mean, no, wait. Okay, yeah, apparently. Well, that sucks. <sighs> oh well. Whatever. Let's get. Let's get our troops. Well, where are we gonna get our troops? We're gonna get our troops over here. Can you move? Can you move? Thank you. Well, once we're at war, we're going to get war operations. Uh, war, uh, war taxes, I mean. And maybe... We can get something here. Administrative power. Seek support of the clergy. Recruit a minister. Yeah. Now let's get the 100, 100 admin points for free. Thank you. Cossacks. Mm, we don't really have much to trade. Grand Generalship here. The Boyars. Sure. And let's have Yaropolk Mislav. Oh, a family member. That's good. I don't know. Maybe this name is very common. Whatever. Uh, we'll get ready with our war against the Mongols. We need Kaz's belly. I don't think we have one. Yeah, we don't. Uh, one thing I'm definitely not going to do is um, yeah. Uh, one thing I'm not going to do is get the uh, is, is raise our troops, raise our uh, yeah, pay for our troops. It's just not going to happen. Actually, you know what? 
let's get my cavalry out immediately and we'll go and do some sieging. I don't want Nizhny Novgorod to fall. That really would suck. So, 14. Okay, we need more spy network stuff. Can we actually switch out Austria? Austria is such a shit rival to have. Because we're not doing anything with them ever. Oh, come on. Chakatai declared war? How is everyone faster than we are? Oh man, I just want Nizhny Novgorod. Please. Please, don't, don't, don't take this away from me. They are, they are gonna do this. Maybe not. Norway has the first circumnavigation. Well, good for you, Norway. Good for you. Uh, they did lose their war against England, however. So, they, they lost some provinces there. Uh, I guess it's not a big deal for them, however. So, whatever. Can I please get the freaking claim here? We need 20 spy network. Next month. Come back. And declare the war. Yep. Okay, no one will support anyone. Awesome. How many troops do we need here to besiege this? Six. So. Let's get the Streltsy. To do some other stuff. Yeah, let's let's have them stay back. Um, hmm. Invest in technology, which I might want to do. It's just I don't know. Anyways, for now. Right, of course. We need to reinforce this. For now, let's let's just not do much. And. Let's just, let's just siege away. What we can do is loot. Which I think we should. Ah, uh, we have to unfortunately walk around here. Um, okay, then we'll just stay here. Oh, and I want war, parade, uh, war taxes. War taxes. Yes, we're renewing all kinds of loans, but we're making money. We're getting some spoils of war as well. Our trade has dropped significantly. We're making like five ducats from trade at some point. Which we no longer do. Hmm. Okay, but we're... Ah, oh, shit. Well, you know what? I'm just going to consolidate the Streltsy. In fact, you know what? That's what I will do. And let's, uh, let's get you guys out there. Let's consolidate the Streltsy, because I haven't paid for them. Let's, let's have them siege away at this. And, oh shoot. Really? You have a one stack? Apparently. Okay. Well, I think we can defeat the one stack with uh, our three stack. Aha! Loser. Okay. Um, I don't know if they're going to be able to escape. But one thing we can do is reform Sudebnik. I don't know. Okay, 18 provinces will be affected. Where the autonomy will be lowered. I think that could be really useful. So right now, 9.9. .9, I think taxation and production will go up. 9.9 .9 and 2.3. Oh, yeah. That's big. That's big. The autonomy is hitting us hard. So that, that helped out tremendously. So you're locked in. We'll crush you. I think we can. We should be able to. In fact, we might get one morale increase in there. There you go. Okay, our queen has died, and Galich has fallen. Good. Now, what I will do is turn this off again. Hello. What the fuck? What the hell was that, man? Did you see that? Whatever. And, okay. So, with this fallen, I mean, all I want, all I really want is this. 
and cash. That's, that's it. That's it. That's all I really, really want. Um, so, yeah. Okay, we get to loot. I think that's what I will do. I think I'm just going to go ahead and loot some stuff. This can be turned off again. And yeah, we'll make money looting, I guess. And we'll just... All I want from the Mongols is money and this one province. Growth of the perfume industry. Incense will now be produced in Munich. Oh, really? That's cool. Perfume capital. Hmm. That's awesome. Wow, you just took a lot of land. These guys are Catholic over here as well. But whatever. It doesn't actually bother us. Alright, so... You get over here. Um, national rest is reduced due to accent vintage. Okay, that's good news, I suppose. But now we don't have rebel problems anymore. That could have been useful earlier. Right now, not so important. Okay, so this has been looted. Man, this is a copper province. Okay, let's loot this stuff. Yeah, okay, we're making some spoils of war. Already looted. Okay, there's not much to get here in these provinces. Yeah, only taken a few months. Alright, take the next one. These provinces are really worth not... They're not worth much. Okay, so. What do you say? You say almost. Well, nice. This war will be, will, will be over quickly. And it's me taking... Me getting some money. That's the whole point. The whole purpose of this. And the one province we need for Russia. And once we have Russia... Things should be amazing again. So how much loot is here? Two. I'll take this. This seems like a lot more. No, it's not a lot more. Okay, so. What do you say, Mongolia? You would say yes. 500 gold, and we get the province. This? Ah, now I kind of want this too. You know what? Maybe. Okay. Uh, our, pe our person is now tolerant. So this is the one good thing. He's a sinner, but he's tolerant and a babbling buffoon. So, okay, so heathens and heretics are actually happier under him than the true faith. So we're not, not going to convert anymore. Because that's really not giving us any bonuses. Okay. So this is looted. Let's loot this. Yep, I'll take the war taxes. Thank you. So now we actually have to stay at war a little bit longer. We do get the ticking war score, not to, forgot, uh, not to forget. So that might be a reason to stay at war as well. Wow, the Mongols are just t totally terrible. Okay, then there's no loot here. There's a little bit here. It's really not a whole lot, but, you know. Okay, we're, we're getting there. Then we'll get our two provinces. That's all I really want. We'll have made a little bit of cash due to the war. And... Okay, most of this is looted. Oh, there's four gold here. Okay, we'll take this, and I think then we'll peace out. Yeah. Estonia has lost to Galindi. Galindi's a rising power. Allied to Bohemia. Maybe we can improve relations with them. They don't like us, but still. Yeah, no, we're not going to do that now. I need this guy to peace out with. We need our diplomat. Okay, Mongolia. Mongolia. Okay, I hope you're still going to want to peace out. No. Shit. Ah, why is this? Okay, you would say yes now. Is that correct? Okay, so five and gold. Five, four. Okay, well, I just reduced it for some reason. Five and gold and two provinces. 
and warp operations. Okay, no. All right, fine. Um, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with this. Perfect. So, that will allow us to do a few things. First of all, we have another fortress. Great. That will immediately mothball. We'll get our troops home. Okay, so now here's what we can do. We can repay a loan. We can embrace an institution, which I think I'm going to do. Just so that we get some tech, maybe. We'll embrace the institution. And... Yeah, we'll tack up. How much is it going to cost? 700 points. <gasps> we can go for tech 10. We're in tech 10, everybody. Wow, that is amazing. And that means we no longer have unbalanced research. So that means we can actually crack down our corruption. And we can also go for this. Which... Uh, I'm not going to do. Uh, for now. Actually, well... What is it going to give us? Colonial range. We don't need that. So yeah, we're just going to keep that. We can use these points for something else. Let's make these provinces into a core. And can we form the Russian nation? Uh, owns a core province. Okay, so as soon as Nizhny Novgorod is a core, we can form Russia. Oh my god, that would be amazing. And we have missionary strength, tolerance of heretics. Tolerance of heretics. Declaration of indulgence. That would fit for our tolerant person. We'll go not with this. Papal state no longer good rival. Yeah. Let's have... Hmm. Greece has formed. Oh, hello. No more Byzantium, but there's Greece. Greek and... I don't think I've ever seen Greece form. That's pretty impressive. Who are you allied with? England. Hmm. Well... I mean, I guess I could pick Ferrara. Who is Cartley allied with? Armenia Khan and the Levant. They're... Oh, they're Orthodox. I see. Ferrara. Allied to Austria. Okay. I'll make uh, Ferrara my rival. I mean, I'm not going to go to war with them, but still. Okay, cool. So, you guys are coming home. We've actually made some money in this war, I would say. We've been able to embrace our thing and we're actually making money now which is really cool okay how are we we have Smolensk as an ally and um, we are not getting England they're fighting Ireland so Scotland formed Ireland well I don't know and they're at war with Norway as well uh, I see. Okay, yeah, Norway is unable to hold on to their territory. That's not really a surprise, but Norway will will be fine with their Scandinavian holdings. They're not going to lose that. I, I, uh, that's not going to happen. Okay, scandal at the court. Take the blame, move on, gain corruption, lose prestige. Okay, fine, I'll lose the prestige. Whatever. Actually, I want you to move back. Consolidate our regiments. And actually... We'll get rid of this one troop. Because it's not worth it. That will save a little bit of cash too. Okay, we can invest in the technology. But I'm not going to do that. I will instead... No, we're not going to convert anything. I, I said that. Okay, how is the institution spreading? So we do have global trade here. Okay, it's just it's just gonna spread. Okay, so let me check this. No edicts. Okay, we don't. I don't think we need the advancement effort. Uh, global trade is gonna uh, spread fast enough, um, and so the reduced state maintenance is good for us, good for our economy. Awesome. So now, make the cause. Let the cause come in. Glory to us. Our glorious army is enhancing the prestige of our nation. Awesome. Very nice. Any, anything we can do about the estates to make them happy? The Cossacks are gone. Can demand military support. Grab Monopoly Charters. 
Yeah, I don't think I will do any of this. Still got some loans. Ah, Smolensk. As my ally, maybe two things would be nice. A royal marriage. And uh, military access. Thank you. Okay. And Estonia... You know what? I might have to de declare war on you. Just because so many times you've done it with us. Oh shit, Cartley, I wanted to give you military access. Whatever. Actually, maybe we can ally you. Yeah, we might be. Let's let's ally Cartley. They're orthodox, after all. Why not? It would be nice to have you on our side. Maybe someone who actually joins us in our defensive wars. Okay. Uh, I'll support the reform, although legitimacy is nice, I want the Patriarch Authority. What is it at? 15. Okay, the bartering increases again. Fine, we'll lose the inflation. It's still pretty high. We've been combating as, or trying to combat it for a while now. And, oh look at this, we're actually losing corruption now. But it's gonna take, I don't know, I don't think we're ever gonna be able to, uh, to deal with this. However... We have a national decision. We can form the Russian nation, everyone. Through conquest and diplomacy, Russia has managed to transform from a mere settlement into a dominant principality. After several eastern expeditions, the Mongol hordes have finally been subdued and a centralized Russian state ruled under the suzerainty of the Tsar is emerging. Influences from Western Europe are helping us modernize and reform our nation, and Western style of education is being adopted. I think this is very true. We fought, you know, the final war against the Mongols to get what we needed. And, uh, well, the Western influences from England are helping us modernize. So this is kind of true. We'll form the Russian nation. The country changes to Russia. We obtain new missions. We gain a sardom and get the empire government rank. National manpower, monthly autonomy change, absolutism, diplomats, all that good stuff. And we gain payment, permanent claims. We gain 25 prestige. Oh, that's good. A little bit of unrest and monthly autonomy change. Awesome. There we freaking go. And there's a few missions that we have fulfilled. Invade Novgorod. So that's giving us more claims. Okay. Sure. Let's go for that. So we have... Oh, yeah. Look at all the claims we've got. Oh, that's nice. Okay, and then we can conquer Novgorod, and we would gain some base tax and that stuff. Tame the steppes. At least one prov province in the Tambov area is owned by us. Okay, so there's plenty of things that we can do now. Plenty of things that we will do. Our prestige has also recovered, somewhat. And, oh, we can make a few more provinces into states. Let me quickly check that out. Um, oh, wow. 28 we can make so many more states and that's gonna help our economy as well. So let's quickly check that out Wilna That's really not gonna be all that good um, Smolensk, okay, I'm gonna check this out off camera, uh, but that will that will actually transform um, our Nation that will help our economy as well because we'll have a lot more states and they will they will just you know have Fewer autonomy and more production and tax. So that's awesome. Anyways, though, that was it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.